Welcome. You're listening to Tal Radio powered by Touch Your Life Foundation and this is Foodology. I'm radio host Devansh and on this show I talk about the enormous world of a little word called food. The bananas are so cheap and widely available that decades ago it surpassed the apple to become the most widely consumed fruit. In fact, did you know that more than 100 billion bananas are eaten in the world every year and 51% of those are had during breakfast. Banana is and has been a staple for centuries. We can find it everywhere in the grocery store aisles, the farmers market and in your favorite smoothies, baked goods and what not. Smoothies and fruit bowls have been in vogue in the recent years. Google up any recipe for a smoothie and 90% of those use bananas. Bananas are like the social butterflies in the world of food. They can blend with anyone seamlessly. And if you've ever noticed, even apes, monkeys, chimpanzees and other primates from whom humans have evolved from are depicted eating bananas, not apples, not oranges just the plain good old banana we do in fact share 50% of our genes with plants including this fruit bananas have 44.1% of genetic makeup common with humans there are more than 1000 varieties of bananas grown in over 150 countries and cavendish is the most commercialized variety accounting for about 47% of the total global product a lot of people believe that bananas were the first fruit on earth their origin is believed to be in southeast asia in jungles of malaysia indonesia or maybe the philippines this yellow fruit is not just a super convenient healthy snack It is also a superfood from supporting our immune systems and protecting our hearts to providing essential vitamins and minerals. Bananas are indeed one of the healthiest fruits you can find on your store shelves. It has been the most versatile and revered fruit from time immemorial. Owing to its abundance and affordability, It is the go-to fruit for nearly every occasion in South and Southeast Asian nations especially. Its sweet taste is not all that it has to offer. It is packed with so many vital nutrients and health benefits. In some cultures, not even a single part of the plant and the fruit is wasted. The banana is believed to be one of the world's earliest and most cultivated fruits. and has traveled far and wide from its humble origins in southeast asia it is one of the most sacred and auspicious symbols in hindu culture the plant has been associated with prosperity and fertility offering prayers to the plant is regarded as good for the welfare of the family not just fruit but the leaves too play a significant role in religious ceremonies in fact the leaf is the most sacred and would find its way in all vedic rituals it is also considered the holiest plate to have a meal on which is why even today many south indians serve their food on banana leaves the leaves are not only used as plates but they are also used for cooking food A lot of recipes are steamed inside banana leaves and some of the polyphenols are imparted to the food being cooked inside. Also in Ayurveda, the banana flower and the stem are used to treat diabetes and the tree's sap is used for ailments such as epilepsy as well as insect bites. I'd like to share a popular Filipino myth regarding the origin of banana tree. It's a fun story. According to that myth, there was a couple named Martha and Pedro, and they had a beautiful daughter, Celia. Because of her beauty, a lot of people admired her. She
she was also kind-hearted and good manner basically the perfect child anyone could ever have the couple was overprotective of her and they feared that someday somebody would take her away from them they tried to discourage any guy who came near her but unknown to the couple celia met a young tall man named ajin every afternoon before sunset they would secretly meet near the house They talked about a lot of things and met daily. One day the father noticed the boy leaning against the window. And according to the myth, the father burst with anger and ran to the house to swing a sharp bolo at the young man. The boy was hit on the arm and consequently his arm was cut and fell onto the ground. Celia went out and carefully picked up the lifeless arm and buried it in the backyard. The next morning, Celia noticed a strange plant that grew at the place. Its trunk was tall, it had green leaves, and its yellow fruits were shaped like clusters of fingers. And that's how a banana was born. According to scientific evidences, Bananas were first domesticated in New Guinea possibly as far back as 10,000 years ago. From New Guinea and the Philippines, bananas dispersed far and wide across tropics in all the directions. Bananas arrived in India, Indonesia, Australia, Malaysia within the first 2 millennia after its domestication. A lot of evidences suggest that they may have been grown in eastern Africa as early as 3000 BCE and in Madagascar by 1000 BC. Buddhist literature notes the existence of bananas in 600 BC and when Alexander the Great came to India in 327 BC he stumbled across the fruit and took it back. Perhaps the most surprising things about the spread of bananas is that they may have arrived in South America well ahead of Europeans as early as 200 BC carried by sailors of Southeast Asian origin. By the 3rd century plantains were being cultivated on plantations in China. We all know that banana is quite versatile but an unknown fact is that all the parts of the entire plant from top to the bottom can be used and have been used in so many different ways the plant on which banana grows is referred to as a banana plant and not a banana tree that is because it has a succulent stem and not a woody trunk this stem is mysterious to most modern people it is cooked in stews or consumed as juice the stem is formed in layers like a cabbage the outer layers are discarded and the rest can be eaten the thick stalk rises from the soil thus forming the spine of this plant it has a crunchy surface and possesses a mild flavor when consumed as a food product drinking the stem juice helps in detoxification by flushing out toxins and unwanted substances from the body this juice is an effective home remedy against kidney stones and also very effective for diabetic patients. The banana flowers are reddish purple teardrop shaped leaves which are hanging from the plant. Not only do they give a contrasting appeal to the whole plant but also have tremendous benefits. Banana flowers if left on the tree would blossom into bananas. They grow in groups of flowers called hands and like bananas they are wonderfully edible sometimes they are called banana hearts they are powerhouses of antioxidants phenolic acids tannins flavonoids vitamins amino acids and these floral beauties have anti-aging properties they are locally used as vegetables either cooked as a curry soup or fried although the cleaning process of these flowers can be very hard but it's all worth the effort for all the advantages it offers the dark and tough husks which are often magenta in color 
and are present on the outside of the flower, they need to be stripped away to reveal the tender yellow green leaves inside. The Banana Leaves As I've told you, in South Asian culture, banana leaves are used as wrappers or even utensils. These large long leaves can serve a full meal, especially feasts. They have a particularly pleasant aroma and can increase hunger stimulation. Certain dishes are steamed inside banana leaves, which can be disposed of easily too, hence environmental friendly. Banana leaf extracts can cure dandruff and maintain a healthy scalp. A banana leaf mask is very effective to maintain the natural color of hair, as it contains high allantoin, an astringent effect. Drinking banana leaves decoction can reduce sore throats and reduce inflammation. And then comes the bananas. They can be used in a variety of dishes, baked goods, used to top other dishes or can be eaten by themselves. They are great for a quick snack when you need a little energy boost. And they are filling enough to pass for a light meal. Since they are so easily digestible, it makes a great first food for babies and they are not likely to cause any allergic reactions or digestive problems. Even the peels of this plant have uses. Their peels protect them from the dirt and make them easy to eat without having to touch the fruit. That makes them perfect for eating in less hygienic circumstances. Applying banana peel on the face helps with puffiness and reduction of fine lines and wrinkles and they also help with acne scars. Moreover, banana peels can be used as a compost for pitted plants as it is rich in nutrients. The peel specifically contains high levels of vitamin B6 and B12 as well as magnesium, potassium, fiber and protein. Many Southeast Asian nations make use of this as an ingredient in a lot of food dishes. This humble fruit has meshed up in humans' lives, yet its powers are so easily overlooked. Doctors always advise you to include apples in your diet to keep your health balanced. However, a banana is as nourishing as an apple, so you can add them to your diet instead. I want to tell you why exactly you should be including bananas in your diets. Bananas can help with muscle contraction and relaxation as well as protein synthesis, which in turn increases lean muscle mass because of abundant magnesium available in them. They are also rich in glucose that will provide optimal energy for your workout sessions, runs or even cycling. Eating one post-workout helps to quickly replenish your energy that is lost during these workout sessions. Bananas are essential for your heart health. They are rich in potassium, minerals, electrolytes that help to maintain your heart health. It has high potassium and low sodium content. Hence, it may also help to protect your cardiovascular system against high blood pressure. Bananas can help your poor digestion. They are excellent sources of prebiotics, which are non-digestible carbohydrates that act as food for the good bacteria in your gut. Being rich in pectin, bananas are a natural detox. This gelatin-like fiber sticks to the toxic compounds in the blood and flushes them out of the body. Unripe bananas can make you feel fuller for a longer time. It is rich in a specific starch known as resistant starch. This starch helps to resist the digestion process. It helps to suppress your hunger and make you feel fuller. Bananas are rich in vitamin A, vitamin E, lutein and antioxidants that help to keep your vision healthy. Lutein is a nutrient that may help to reduce the risk of macular degeneration. And as we all know that fruits and vegetables are excellent sources of antioxidants and bananas are no exception. They contain several types of potent antioxidants which reduce oxidative damage which occurs through free radicals. Fresh bananas are available all year round. 
and unlike some fruits, bananas continue to ripen even after picking. To ripen faster, people can try to keep them in a paper bag and if you want to slow down the ripening process, you must refrigerate them. They may darken on the outside but on the inside, they will remain unripened. Bananas make up approximately 75% of the annual tropical fruit trade. In fact, they are the world's most exported fruit. The world's top banana exporter is Ecuador while the US is the largest importer. Most of these bananas that we eat are grown on large farms where they are harvested until they are still green and to keep them from ripening and browning during shipping and transportation, they are kept in refrigerated containers. And when they reach their destination, bananas are kept in special facilities. These modern facilities, they make use of advanced technology to control bananas exposure to air, humidity, temperature, and ethylene gas, which is a natural ripening chemical. All these measures are taken to deliver the best quality bananas to your table. And there are so many ways in which you can incorporate this super fruit in your daily lives. You can add a sliced banana to your morning cereal or oatmeal for a more nutritious breakfast. Mash up ripe bananas and use them to replace butter or oil in baked goods. You can use mashed bananas in muffins, cookies, cakes for a naturally sweet and gooey flavor and texture. I don't even have to tell you about adding bananas to your smoothies. You can take banana to your work or school for a healthy portable snack. And the best thing is that it comes with its own cover. Bananas are a popular fruit that contains all the essential nutrients that help to keep a person healthy. It is worth noting that while the nutrients in bananas can boost your health and prevent diseases, eating bananas may not have the same impact on everyone. However, a diet which is rich in fresh fruits and vegetables will always help to keep a person well. This delicate tropical fruit is picked and packed by hand then shipped and refrigerated for thousands of miles before reaching your door. Until the 20th century, the bananas were just an exotic, expensive delicacy which was unknown to most Americans. Now, you walk into any grocery store in the US and you'll be able to buy bananas for just a few dollars. The next time you're eating this fruit, think about the hard work that went into its production and shipping. Maybe then you'll start appreciating things around you even more. Thank you so much for sticking around with me on this episode of Foodology. I had an incredible time talking to you. This is radio host Devansh signing off. Hope you have a beautiful and a magical day ahead. See you soon.